लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वेलकम बैक टू आईआरटीसी चैनल दिस इज वेद प्रकाश सिंह फ्रॉम आईआरटीसी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द एलिमेंट नंबर सेवन ऑफ प्रोसेस सेफ्टी मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम यू माइट हैव गोन थ्रू अदर एलिमेंट्स फ्रॉम द आईआरटीसी चैनल वी हैव पब्लिश्ड ऑल फोर्टीन एलिमेंट्स ऑफ द पी अवेलेबल फॉर यू ऑन आई चैनल यू मे प्लीज फील फ्री टू सर्च on iitc channel and can go through that but this program is dedicated only for pre startup safety review which is also known as pssr so we will see the following points but not limited to the first thing is what do you mean by pssr what are various elements of pssr who should carry out pssr gentlemen and ladies my request my humble request please subscribe and press the bell icon and please also send this link to your friends professional friends your company group and whatsapp group so guys now basic thing we need to understand the difference between between occupational safety and process safety let us start with uh, occupational safety as you guys knows that occupational safety focuses mainly on preventing the personal injuries personal injuries here means leg injury finger injury hand injury face injury eye injury and any body part injuries and uh, this occupational safety can be measured as per the osha standard in lti lost time injuries or lost time accidents fr means frequency rate sr means severity rate fsi means frequency severity index etc normally i mean as you know that occupational safety or occupational accidents are high in probability they are always uh, in high numbers that means failure frequency accident frequencies are more but severity is compared to the process safety is low i don't say that uh, it is uh, a low in terms of let's say there 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 are fatalities in terms of uh, uh, any work person working at height if he falls from the height he may die unfortunately so in that perspective i am not saying but yes in general the severity of this occupational safety or occupational related accidents are low let us go ahead for process safety guys as you know that the definition of process safety as per the name it is a safety of process means process safety primarily it means of lopc loss of primary containment so it is a process safety is a systematic approach to prevent potential release or lopc or uh, low loss of primary containment this looks entire processes beginning from the material equipment systems and product it is measured in a different aspect like uh, alarm rate corrosion rate flow rate leak rate in this terms it can be measured so if you see in terms of probability this process safety events are very less in terms of uh, probability but the severity is, is very high when i am saying severity is very high that means it can kill many people at one point of time because this is process safety related event anybody and everybody who is in the contour of high fire high radiation high exposure zone he will be affected and he may be killed so that is why the severity is very high severity severity in terms of fatality severity in terms of production loss severity in terms of uh, reputation loss severity in terms of financial loss so guys let's go ahead i hope by now you understand the basic concept of occupational safety and process safety in this slide probably you will have clearer information related to process safety versus occupational safety if you see this graph this is y axis this is the x axis here in this y axis you have got mah major accident hazard hope you are able to see my cursor and the down below is a slip trip and falls so this is the accident category and in y in x axis this is the likelihood or frequency in the beginning this is unlikely or very unlikely and there is a high possibility or high possibility 
If you go and see and refer this uh, slanting line which is light blue, here it is a personal safety means occupational safety. If you go down below here, so that means it shows that it is a high probability, high in numbers. The same time if you see the corresponding x axis, this is the sleep, trip, injuries and this kind of injuries. So that means this graph shows that personal safety or occupational safety, the possibility is very high whereas the severity is low in compared to the process safety. Now we are talking about the process safety. If you see here, the process safety here, uh, the it is very unlikely in terms of the frequency, in terms of the I mean uh, likelihood, but the severity is MAH, major accident hazard. When we say major accident hazard, that means it this event can kill many people at one point of time. It has huge impact on production loss, it has huge impact on um, facility damage, it has huge impact on financial loss. So guys, this slide is a very good slide to understand the definition as well as the difference between process safety versus occupation safety. Guys, I know that you are going through this video, you may be having any question or any suggestion, I would encourage you to please participate in the comment section so that we can come back to you with your queries as a PBSS. So guys, process safety, again you are here saying that process safety involves the prevention of leak, equipment malfunction and over pressure, corrosion, metal and fatigue. This deals with process characteristics of pressure, temperature, flow, um, level and all these things. So, the essential elements are we must know the processes both physically as well as technically to understand complete process safety. So, this is what is process safety management. We will go through line by line, one by one, each element so that you have got very good information regarding process safety management as well as all the elements of process safety. This will see the analyze the process hazard. This is a PHA. PHA is one of the element of process safety. I have created one small video, small presentation only for you. Please search on IITC PHA. You will find it that you get very good information regarding PHA, process hazard analysis. Now we have to also deal with the maintenance because maintenance is the reliability, availability and maintainability. Manage and communicate over the life processes. We have to see complete life cycle of process safety in this uh, management system. So guys, as I mentioned that there are all the modules published by IITC on IITC channel. You may please feel free to undergo for those training. Now we are going to speak the pre-startup safety review which is highlighted in bold red letter and others are in other module. Element number 7, PSSR review is a pre-startup safety review. Guys, this pre-startup safety review must be done immediately prior to introduction of a high hazardous chemical. <coughs> a review must be performed for a new and modified facility that requires a chance in PSM information conforming. Conforming what? Conforming followings. So that means PSSR must be done before introducing any hazardous chemical in the system after construction after shutdown, after major MOC or any kind of maintenance to confirm that whether the constructions, maintenance, shutdown and equipment is uh, installed and done in accordance with design specification. If the construction, maintenance, shutdown and uh, other things are not done as per the system, that means there is a problem, there is an issue, we must identify it. We must identify it, safety, operating, maintenance, emergency procedures and other procedures are uh, in place, they are up to date and people have been trained on this program and now they are ready to work on this. They know the hazards, they know the risk, they know the emergency response planning, they know how to escape, they know how to I mean, uh, uh, rescue no unintended hazards are introduced. We need to see that there is no unintended hazards are introduced when due to during construction, during shutdown, 
during maintenance and uh, this is to be cross checked against design against parameter affected employees are trained all the employee who are going to work nearby during uh, commissioning during i mean uh, operation during maintenance they must be trained depending on their requirement all the pha recommendations are resolved and closed before pre ssr we must ensure that there is no i mean uh, i mean uh, uh, high hazards or medium hazards or uh, amber hazards uh, risk is still alive all the re recommendations must be resolved prior to pssr M and system is modified which is meeting the moc requirement so guys to carry out the pssr we must form a team the team should be cross functional team ideally from operation from maintenance from electrical from instrument from safety and from other department depending engineering department process department depending on your process and your organization structure now we have to make a checklist before we do pre start up so there are checklist available for different operations i have put a example of checklist in the description box you may feel free to download that checklist this checklist has to be i mean cross checked verified and each point has to be verified before start up so guys i hope you i mean uh, uh, you should be able to answer this question what do you mean by pssr of course you know what is the meaning of pssr what are various elements of pssr now you know the what are the various elements of pssr who should carry out the pssr this should be cross functional team approved by management should carry out the pssr guys my humble request to you is please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon and please feel free to send this uh, link to your friend so that to your group to your company group so that they have the same information i i hope guys you like this information with this thank you very much jai hind jai bharat